What is up, Jet Team? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name's Ryan, former Thunderbird pilot, former F-15E combat fighter pilot, and current commercial pilot, and I break down what you ask me to on Instagram. And today, we're gonna be asking ourselves some serious questions, like, is the Pope Hindu? Is a frog's butt water tight? Is the sun hot? All these age-old questions combined with the mother of all age-old questions, who's better, the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds? This has been an enigma. I like that word. For about a thousand years. 100 years? 50 years. 50 years. This has been an enigma for 50 years. Who has the better show? Which show should you go and see? Well, today, we are going to be diving into that question. And at the end of this video, if you stay to the very end, your reward will be, I'm gonna be breaking down the shows based on a certain set of criteria. This will be a ranking score at the end, and we're gonna determine once and for all who is the best, the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds. And those criteria are creativity, speed, closeness, and performance. I'm gonna break it down in all four of those categories. We're gonna arrive at a score at the very end and we're gonna determine whether a duck's butt is watertight, whether the Thunderbirds or Blue Angels are better. You know what I'm getting at. <laughs> but before we get going, if you would, just <laughs> dominate that like button for me and maybe even subscribe. Every time you like and subscribe, you create a mini sonic boom. And that's a beautiful thing. Let's dive in. Here we go. The Thunderbirds are going to give some love to the crew chiefs at the beginning. Who was that second guy? He needs to sharpen up his salute. <laughs> so this is one of the years that I flew for the team. That's actually my crew chief right there, Alan. This is my friend, Tread, and Gibbs was his crew chief. So you're going to see a little bit of the Thunderbird ground show, which I think is awesome because the whole reason why these jets are flying and raging around like Formula One cars is because the crew chiefs are fixing them when we break them. So ton of skill from those guys and gals. And there's also a criteria that they have to do 100 pull-ups to make the team. I'm just kidding about that, but I'm pretty sure most of them could. <laughs> there we go, just giving some shout outs. Again, the ground show is a big part of the Thunderbird experience. That's something that separates it from the Blue Angels. And then when we would taxi out like this, give it some love to the crew chiefs was a tradition. And we all had kind of our own little hand signals that we would give and they would throw back at us. Here's the loop on takeoff. We did this right off the bat. Square one, you've just been chilling all morning and then boom, you're gonna pull seven Gs and do a loop on takeoff. No big deal. I think it's an awesome way to start out the show. Here we are inside the cockpit for that loop on takeoff. Oh man, it's just a special feeling. Honestly, this kind of shows you how you're gonna do throughout the show. You know, if you're really on that day, you're gonna notice in the loop on takeoff that something just feels spot on and feels right, and it varies from day to day. It's a great view of the desert out there. This is a shot of Nellis Air Force Base. Flying out there in the desert, blue sky days, VFR, visual flight rule flying. Ah, can't beat it. Coming downhill here, the number one jet's gonna be pulling his throttle back in order to slow down. Cause you can get really fast on this and it's hard for the wingman to keep up. So definitely takes a lot of skill to execute that. And just remember that you've got three people behind you. This is gonna be a view of the number three jet here during that loop. Look at that Viper, look at that canopy. I mean, there's not a lot of fighter jets out there where you have this kind of visibility. To me, I just love the visibility of that Viper. Maybe the F-22 could compete, but any day of the week, I love the view out of that windscreen. Awesome. That was going from a trail formation position back into diamond. And that's one of the most challenging moves you do because you're basically stacked on top of each other and then you move it back into diamond position. Again, just operating in the vertical like this with these jets, with these F-16s that are a little less stable. When you get down to slow air speeds, it can be really challenging to keep it tight. So this is pretty good. They're looking pretty solid throughout this one. But again, it can be challenging with the flight control system of the Viper fly-by-wire. It can be a little persnickety. 
So there you go, guys. There is a quick view of the Thunderbird demonstration from inside the cockpit. Now, let's dive in to the Blue Angels. Here we go. So you can see a little bit of turbulence bumping around and the depth that the Blue Angels fly with. This move's gonna be really cool. This is gonna be two jets stacked up, inverted. Again, creativity here, solid. Really, really sharp on the creativity side. Little thing to note is these jets have to be modified to fly upside down for more than 10 seconds. So otherwise, the fuel would not pump to the engines, the engines would flame out, it'd be a bad day. Again, you can see the depth that the Blue Angels are flying with. It makes them look extremely tight, which from the ground, you kind of see something that looks like this, but really there's a lot of depth in between that, which is still challenging, don't get me wrong. But the Blues fly with a ton of depth. You just have to be careful there that you don't get too deep and hit the jet that's at the very bottom, or the wingmen tap their wings because they're in there so tight and so deep. I really liked flying with depth on the Thunderbirds, but the slow speed handling characteristics in the F-18 are so much better they just made more sense to fly with that depth. With the Thunderbirds, it just got a little bit weird under there. Like you might feel like you can't really get out of that position. So I think it's a little better to fly with depth in the F-18, but it looks awesome. Man, it just looks really good. Nice, complex, inverted maneuver here. Just some good creativity shown by the Blue Angels. Nice breakaway with a rejoin. These kind of things just, they add some cool flair to the show. Nice breakaway and aileron roll, solid. They're incorporating some general aviation type aerobatics there, which I think is cool. And then the rejoin in the vertical is a challenging type of rejoin because you've gotta be careful to not overshoot. If you overshoot, you might not be able to get back in position because you're gonna start going downhill and you're not gonna be able to slow down. So there you go, guys. There's some insider cockpit footage from both teams. And now it's time to answer the question. Does a sheep wear a sweater? Is the sun hot? Does a bear live in the woods? Who's better, Thunderbirds or Blue Angels? Well, let's start with the criteria I talked about earlier. The first category is creativity. So with the Thunderbirds, I think there's some work they can do there to incorporate maybe some moves that they've seen in the GA world if they're able to do it safely. The Blue Angels, I think they're willing to take a little more risks. So gotta say, when it comes to this category, Blue Angels one, Thunderbirds zero. The next category, let's talk about closeness. Who gets closer? Well, I think if you were to measure it with depth and then you applied that depth to length, it would probably be relatively similar. But from the ground, the Blue Angels are gonna look closer. And I think the wingtips, especially of the wingmen, get closer than the Thunderbirds get. Those things are probably sometimes within 18 inches or so. The Thunderbirds do get that close at times, but then we will correct back to somewhere between two and three feet. But again, from the ground, the Blue Angels look closer. And the depth that they fly with helps them do that. But at the end of the day, that takes a tremendous amount of skill. So for closeness, I'm gonna give the nod to the Blue Angels again. So. Currently, we got Blue Angels two, Thunderbirds zero. It's not looking too good, birds. Come on, guys, let's do this. All right, the next category is speed. So when it comes to the pace of the show, the Thunderbird show is faster. They kind of keep things coming at the crowd with the diamond and the solos, preparing for the next maneuver relatively quickly, whereas the Blue Angels do more complex maneuvers, but it's a little more time in between the different stunts that they do. And the Viper operates a little bit faster during the show, sometimes 100 miles an hour faster, and it's just a jet that flies a little better at a faster speed than the F-18 does. So for this category, we're giving the nod to the Thunderbirds, yeah, we got one. So here we are, Blue Angels two, Thunderbirds one. Now it comes down to the last category. Ah, man, this is a tough one. This is performance. So who is the better performing team? 
Who is able to make this happen? And by the way, this category is gonna count for two points. So this could sway things one way or the other. Now, when it comes to the Thunderbirds, we're all about including the maintainers in the show and showing off that prowess and the fact that they can curl 100 pound dumbbells. But it comes down to the team. So those Thunderbird jets, those Blue Angel jets would not be flying without the maintainers. Now the Thunderbirds, I think, in my opinion, they like to show off those maintainers a little more with a complex ground show that can take up to 15 to 20 minutes prior to the flight happening at an air show. Whereas the Blue Angels kind of have the jets prepped beforehand and they just jump inside the jet. So it depends on what you like. What aesthetic do you like? Do you like to see the ground crews underneath there making it happen? Or do you kind of want that to happen beforehand and then just watch jets fly? So that's a different type of performance, but in my opinion, I liked seeing the maintainers. I liked seeing them rock out and just make it happen down there and make it look sharp. To me, I thought it was a really cool part of the show. And then something that's kind of subjective, you know, not as subjective as does the Pope wear a funny hat? We all know the answer to that one, but what paint job and what paint scheme do you like better? Do you like the red, white, and blue of the Thunderbird jets? Do you like the blue and yellow of the F-18 Blue Angels? At the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference. But for me, guys, in this category, I just love the look of the Viper. The Viper is a sharp jet. I got to fly it, so I'm a little bit biased, of course. So I'm going to give the nod to the Thunderbirds. Probably didn't see that one coming, did ya? <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's personal preference. Both shows bring so many different things to the table that it's worth seeing both. And I've gotten to operate with both jet teams, flying Blue Angels in my back seat, flying for the Thunderbirds, and I'll tell you, it's amazing. Both teams have a lot to offer. Go see both. Thanks for being here, guys. Let me know which team you like more in the comments below. And until next time, Hope you have a great day. See you on the next video.